Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, back once again, pretty quick, to do another response video, another request video, I should say. Um, I know a few days ago, I put up that really quick short video asking you guys, hey, what would you like for me to share, talk about, whatever the case may be. And you guys have just given me some awesome, awesome responses that has just really made me wanna do a lot of back-to-back -back videos here. So, I mean, I really, really appreciate that. And so tonight I'm going to do a response to a question which was, what are your 10 favorite white label promos? So that was a question that was asked and obviously white label and not, not just gold stamp promos. So uh, yeah, that's what I decided to do. So I went over to my section which right here where you see that Miles Dave, if I can get my finger pointing in the right direction, <laughs> where you see that Miles Davis right there, uh, that's my white label promo section. Matter of fact, that Miles Davis is a white label promo. But uh, but yes, I went through and picked out my ten favorite. No particular order here, but I just kind of figured these are probably my ten favorites, and we'll just kind of go from there. And I guess since I accidentally picked out eleven, I'll show you the one that I pulled before I started the video here. But uh, sticks pieces of eight. I mean that's a pretty cool one right there. Definitely a legendary album, but. That's a pretty cool white label promo, but let's kind of dive into it. So my top 10 in no particular order, I'm gonna go with um, Nuggets, which is of course like that psychedelic compilation that's been pretty popular for quite some time. But as you can see, they're just like a beautiful near mint copy of that two LP set and kind of cool that it still has the, um, the promo sticker, the big promo sticker there on the front, which is kind of awesome. So beautiful piece there, definitely happy to have that one. Uh, the Black Sabbath Paranoid, another great one to have. I mean, any type of Sabbath white label is just fantastic, uh, no matter what the album. Um, so yeah, so this one's really, really nice. I mean, the cover has some ring wear there, uh, but no creases and no seam splits whatsoever, which is nice. It's just that if that darn ring wear wasn't there, it'd be awesome. Uh, I mean, it's still awesome, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least the vinyl is excellent excellent mine is somewhere right around there so I mean, it's really really clean and plays fantastic but yeah beautiful white label promo there definitely one of my favorites as well as Jethro Tull which is Aqualon here of course another legendary album you guys know extremely well and again white label and this is arguably, even though it's, it, maybe it's not my most valuable white label promo, it's probably my favorite white label in my collection, which is the self-titled Boston. I mean, the, the, I mean, just you know, between the album and you know, I, just everything. I'm, this is probably my favorite, but just a beautiful, beautiful pressing of that, and I mean, everything with that is just, just awesome, fantastic condition. So great one there. And then you have a little Bob Dylan, the times they are changing. Again, beautiful white label. And this was some VCLT from uh, Billy Hurst over at Riverbend Records. Uh, one, of the, one of the albums that he kind of gave me as a thank you with kind of working to help set up the shop right before he had opened. And one of the thank yous that he gave me was Dawkin, Back for the Attack, white label promo. So again, another beautiful one there. Definitely probably my favorite Dawkins album, Song for Song. So that, that's a great one to have. Uh, Neil Young, Crazy Horse. Everybody knows this is nowhere. So another beautiful white label there. And then the last three here, you got the Boys in the Hood soundtrack, which is cool. Again, another white label promo, also with kind of the generic, the generic sleeve. So that's a great one. Two LP set, really cool stuff there. And then you have Roxy Music. This is their first album from '77, no '72. I'm sorry, further back, 1972. So again, beautiful white label. And last but not least, this one was kind of cool to stumble across because. After I first started caring about white label promos, I didn't discover that this one was in my collection for a couple of years after I got into white label promos, just because I hadn't gone in and spun it or anything like that. And it wasn't until I started putting stuff in Discogs that I realized that my queen, the works, 
was a white label promo as well. And you know, of course, this is their release from 1984, which has arguably my favorite Queen song on it, which is Radio Gaga. I mean, you have to love that. But yeah, definitely a, an awesome white label promo to fi- just randomly find in your collection one day. So, so those are probably my top 10. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the suggestions. Uh, let me know what you think, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, VC.